going. That's a good one. What's going on everyone? So this entire week, we've just been getting hit by cold front after cold front and it's no different today. We have another one that's gonna be rolling in in a little bit. So I decided I wanna try and do some fishing before this one comes back in cause we're gonna get some rain with it too. But I'm gonna go out and drop in my kayak and see if I can catch some mangrove crabs to use as live bait to try and catch some sheep's head. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you where you gotta look for these crabs how you can catch them and we're gonna go test it out and see if we can get some sheep's head. So I didn't bring any rods with me and I always, it seems like whenever I go out and I don't bring a rod, is the days I wish I had a rod. It's when you see the, the big snook and the big redfish or maybe like a big sheep's head today, but let's see if it's one of those days I wish I would've brought it. I'm in like a foot and a half of water over some sand. I just moved like a 40 inch snook. I just talked about not bringing a rod. So I found that if you miss them, they like to fall right into the water. So I like to put this net like right underneath them and just kind of spook them right into the net. We got a couple right here. A good one right here. There we go. Little mangrove crab right there. in the bucket. It's that easy. Free bait. Here we go. Got him. Perfect size. Throw him in. Uh, that guy's a little small. We'll let him go. Oh, well, there's a fish. Oh, there's two right here. I got the big one. There we go. Little mangrove crab right there. There's like seven of them right there. Here we go. Got two, two good ones. Two. Using the net makes it so easy. I'd say 15, 16 grabs in there. So we definitely have enough bait. See if we can go catch some sheep's head now. Let's head back, get back on the boat. The rig that I'm gonna be using today is this 2.0 live bait hook right here. It's a really small hook. Uh, it's perfect for these sheep's head because they have really small mouths and they're really known for stealing bait. So you want a smaller size hook like this one. I went ahead and put a bead on there just to kind of block the, the egg weight from hitting the, the knot right there. And this is about a half ounce egg weight just on a knocker rig right here. And using 25 pound fluoro leader, using about a three foot section of that. Then for a setup, I'm using my Pen Clash 3000 on my St. Croix Mojo Inshore 7.6 medium light power rod. On there, I got 15 pound braid. And all we're gonna be doing is we're trying a new bridge right here. And same deal, it's just a bunch of pilings, uh, both concrete and these wood pilings. A lot of oysters, a lot of barnacles on there, so there should be some sheep said. And got my, my bucket of crabs right here, so I'm just gonna reach in, grab one right quick. And all we're gonna be doing is, oops, sorry, is hooking them from underneath, just right up top like that. So it's a very simple rig. Went and caught these crabs myself, so let's see if we can get some sheep set on some free bait right here. 
All right, so I'm just positioned right here. You can see we got the wood pilings right here all covered in oysters and barnacles and everything and this big cement one right here. I'm gonna aim to try and shoot right in this little gap right here. Well, let's go ahead and try. Just letting it go down to the bottom. I'm in about 10 feet of water right around here. You just try popping around these. There we go. What is that? It's a mangrove snapper. Huh. Mangrove snapper on a mangrove crab. I know you're a snapper. There we go. Yeah, nice little uh, mangrove, probably like, instead of me guessing, let me just measure them. Close to 11 inch mangrove. Pretty sure they only need to be 10 to keep, but I'm not keeping anything today, so I'm gonna let them go. See you, dude. All right, not the sheep's head I was going after, but I'll take anything right now. Let's see if we can get a sheepy. Got one. Little sheep's head. There we go. They got like human-like teeth. It's really kind of disgusting. And you can see he's just using those to crush that crab right there. Probably not legal size. They need to be 12 inches to keep, but I'm not trying to get, keep anything today either. Let's get the release on them. See you, dude. Ah. All right, let's try and get some bigger ones now. There's gotta be some bigger ones down there. Well, since we're over here. That's a better one. <laughs> What is that? It's a little grouper. Everything's eating the crabs today. That's crazy. I've heard from so many people that you use fiddler crabs for sheep's head because you like limit the things you get for bycatch. Not today though. We're getting we're getting everything. Got another Oh, that's what she said. Oh, came right off. That's all right. He was a little guy again. Oh yeah, you're pinching the crab out of me. There you go. Got one. Ooh, that's a decent one. There we go. Oh yeah, that's it. That would have been a keeper for sure. Come here, dude. Yeah, that's a nice one. Solid sheep's head right there. On the mangrove crab that we caught a little bit earlier. Right by that cement piling over there. Drop that mangrove crab down. Look at those teeth. Let me get the measurement on them. I'm saying that's a 13 and a half at least. Right there. Oh no, he's 14 and a half. It's a solid fish right there. See you, dude. Right <gasps> <gasps> Yep. <laughs> oh, I got one. <laughs> Little guy. Another sheep set, though. Uh, he's probably right at like, uh, he's probably a little short, probably 11. Little guy right there. Get release on him. See you, dude. There we go. Uh, all right, let's go try a dock. I only had waffles today. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, I got freaking hammered. That's a good one. That's a really good one. Oh yeah. Decided to give this dock a shot and it's paying off already. 
That is a nice sheep's head right there. Come here, dude. You are lucky I'm not keeping anything anything today. You done? You done? You done? Look at that, look at that bird. Look at the bird. <laughs> it's got a fish in his mouth. But yeah. Right there, that is a nice sheep's head on the mangrove crab right there. It's got a measurement so close to 16. We might as well call him 16. Solid fish right there on the mangrove crab. That's so cool. Catch your own bait and then catch your own fish. This would be a great keeper fish, but it's his lucky day he's going back. See you, dude. <laughs> oh, right in the face, I got soaked. Last crab right here. He's getting eaten, he's getting eaten. That's another good one. That's another good one. Yep. Oh, these are really pretty ones here. Oh, he's bulldogging. Yeah, they're really glowing here compared to over there at the bridge. Flip them in. Yeah, it's definitely another keeper size one right there. Look at those stripes on them. They're really a cool fish and one of the best eating fish around here in Tampa Bay for sure. Get the release on them. Here, can we do it in slow-mo? See you, dude. Woo. So that's gonna do it for today. Ended up getting a couple sheep said some nice ones. I uh, got that one 14 and a half over at the bridge and then came over to this dock with like three crabs left and got a couple nice ones out of there. So really cool that you're able to actually go out and get some crabs on your own for free. If you put in the time and know where to look for them and how to catch them and everything and go out there and catch some really good tasting fish and they fight hard. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. That would really mean a lot to me. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.